Hello and welcome back. In this original Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight 20 Black-owned craft breweries. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Beer is big business and as American as sweet potato pie. Whether you're having one over dinner or with friends while watching the game, there are craft beers for everyone. But craft beer and the black community are not known to go hand in hand. In fact, the Brewers Association revealed that only 1% of brewery owners are African American, meaning that out of the more than 8,000 breweries across the country, only 60 are black owned. With the lack of black involvement and ownership in the brewing industry, there's a massive market that entrepreneurs are missing out on. But on the bright side, there are several new black owned craft breweries that have started to open their doors and kegs to critical acclaim and growing fan bases. We encourage you to go seek out these black owned breweries, get to know the talented folks behind them and start supporting them not only because they're black, but because they make great beer. In this original Black Excellence presentation, we want to highlight 20 black owned craft breweries to support across the country. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, Sankofa Beer Company in Washington, DC. Named in reference to the understanding that to ensure a strong future, you must return to collect and understand your past. This Washington DC brewery's mission is to expand the conventions of craft beer. Founded by Amado Karski and Kofi Moreau, Sankofa released its first beer in 2018. Its current menu includes Hype Biscuits Pale Ale, Harmattan Haze Wheat Ale, and Cocoa Coast Chocolate Milk Stout. Number two, Cajun Fire Brewing Company in New Orleans, Louisiana. Said to be the first black owned brewing company in the South, this New Orleans brewery was founded in 2011. Cajun Fire's mission is brewing for socioeconomic gains one pint at a time. The lineup currently includes a Honey Ale, Big Chief Prim Stout, and P-Train Funk Raspberry Milkshake IPA. Number three, Spaceway Brewing in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Female owners Brianna Brake and Celeste Beatties established their brewery in Rocky Mount, North Carolina in 2018. With a commitment to local history and culture, they drew their primary inspiration from Afrofuturism, a cultural movement that features futuristic or science fiction themes that incorporate elements of black history and culture. As in pop culture images of the future, minorities are scarcely represented in the craft beer industry. Spaceway Brewing wants to change that. Number four, 18th Street Brewery in Hammond, Indiana. This Hammond, Indiana brewery was founded in Drew Fox's home in 2010. After years of hands-on learning and exploration, 18th Street became official with the release of Sinister DIPA in 2013. Since then, Fox and his team opened a brew pub in nearby Gary, as well as a tap room and a full service kitchen in Hammond. Number five, Elmatic Artisan Ales in Hoover Heights, Ohio. Opened in 2019, this Hooper Heights, Ohio brewery was co-founded by head brewer Gerard Fisher. What we presume to be a nod to Nas's classic Illmatic, Elmatic's signature beers include Brick City Porter and their special version of a blonde ale, Oatmeal Tail Beer, Session IPA, Pale Ale, and American IPA. Number six, Black Calder Brewing in Kentwood, Michigan. Michigan's first Black-owned brewery is owned by Terry Rostick and Jamal Ewing. Black Calder is proud to be part of the movement of diversity and inclusion in the craft beer scene. What they didn't see in the brewing industry was diversity and themes that spoke to the culture that we represent. They wanted to fix that. Number seven, Union Craft Brewing in Baltimore, Maryland. Founded in the fall of 2011 by Kevin Blogger, Adam Banesh, and John Zirovitz. This Baltimore-based brewery initially launched with its Duck Pen Pale Ale. Since then, Blogger, who also serves as the chair of the diversity committee for the Brewers Association, has added Queen of Yaw's Sour Ale, People Power Oat Lager, and Steady Eddie Wheat IPA, a tribute to Baltimore Orioles legend Eddie Murphy. Number eight, Weathered Souls Brewing in San Antonio, Texas. 
This San Antonio brewery recently gained a lot of attention for its creation of Black is Beautiful, a collaboration amongst brewers and distillers to raise awareness about injustice and police brutality. Opened in 2016, Weathered Soul is led by co-owner and head brewer Marcus Baskerville, who has a rotating tap list of more than 20 beers. Number 9. Hippin Hops in Atlanta, Georgia Hippin Hops is a new restaurant in East Atlanta Village that celebrates the dynamic combination of oysters and craft beer. Husband and wife team Clarence and Danica Boston are successful business owners with a few funeral homes, an oyster lease in North Carolina, and Georgia's first Black-owned brewery in their portfolio. Their brewery in Stone Mountain supplies the original craft beer for their new venture that blends the joy of eating and drinking in the heart of Atlanta. Number 10. Oak Park Brewing in Sacramento, California this Sacramento, California brewery sees beer as a way to unite people together around a table to relax and enjoy the moment. Led by head brewers Raj Little and Jeff Scott, Oak Park hosts beer releases and benefit concerts to recognize local artists and raise funds for local nonprofits. Number 11. Conso Brewing Company in Atlanta, Georgia Named in honor of Konso Emib, an ancient Egyptian brewer to the pharaohs and the gods of the dead, this Atlanta brewery was founded by Kevin Downing, Corby Hanna, and William Teasley. In ancient Egypt, beer was for everyone, and Konso looks to serve all with their standing peach tree pale ale, Pullman Yard Porter, and more. Number 12. Green Bench Brewing in St. Petersburg, Florida Owners Stephen Duffy, Nathan Stonecipher, and Chris Johnson opened St. Petersburg, Florida's first microbrewery in 2013. They recently hosted a private event for Green Book of Tampa Bay and collaborated with Beer Culture, where Johnson is the vice president, to release a new line of beers called Culture Tings. Every dollar made from the latter goes to Beer Culture, an organization that creates opportunities that foster diversity, equity, and inclusion within the craft beverage space. Number 13. Montclair Brewery in Montclair, New Jersey Husband and wife Leo and Denise Sawadogo began working on their New Jersey-based brewery in 2014, and it became a reality four years later. Combining their West Indian and West African roots, head brewer Leo is particularly passionate about creating fruit-based beers. They recently launched their Black History Month series, which includes brews inspired by George Washington Carver, Chadwick Boseman, and New York media icon Gil Noble. Number 14. Novel Strand Brewing Company in Denver, Colorado this boutique brewery in the historic Baker neighborhood may be small in size, but it made a quick splash in the Denver brewing community by cranking out consistently solid beers with big personalities. Owners Ayana Coker, Chantel Columna, and Tamir Dannon bought a small five-barrel system on purpose. The small size will allow them to make a wider variety of beer more often. It also helps them specialize in sessionable beers that they can pack in as much flavor as possible. Number 15. Harlem Blue Brewery in New York, New York Former attorney Julian Riley established Harlem Blue in 2011, not only with a desire to marry his enthusiasm for craft beer with his entrepreneurship streak, but to show that Harlem can make things. Harlem Blue produces small-batched Harlem-inspired premium ales that are handcrafted to match the unique diversity of life in New York City. Riley seeks to broaden the approachability of premium craft beer for all consumers, celebrating today's grinders, hustlers, and dreamers. Number 16. Rhythm Brewing Company in New Haven, Connecticut Owner and brewmaster Alyssa Bowens Mercado's hope is to leave a legacy that changes the world and the beer industry one sip at a time. She tapped into the brewing industry after realizing a lack of black leadership. Now Rhythm Brewing Company is the first black and female owned brewing company in the state of Connecticut and the fourth in the country. Her brand has three unique flavors, Rhythm Red, Rhythm Blue, and Alyssa's birthday girl magic, Vanilla Porter. 
Number 17, Assembly Brewing in Portland, Oregon. Assembly Brewing was founded in March 2019 by George Johnson with a mission to bring people together to enjoy balanced beer and authentic Detroit-style pizza. Johnson's beers have been unapologetically old school as they specialize in classic ales like ambers, stouts, and pails. A popular Portland spot and pizza lovers hangout, the Assembly lineup has remained true to the brew pub experience of the pre-craft brewing boom of 2010s. Number 18, Hella Coastal in Oakland, California. Benjamin and his homie, Chaz Hubbard, started out brewing in their backyards as young fathers whose sons now attend the same school in Oakland. Hella Coastal's purpose is to highlight beer drinkers and producers that are not well represented in the present day craft brewing scene. Their focus is to show the diversity and inclusivity of brewing in all aspects while emphasizing their local authenticity as an essential ingredient in their beer making process. Number 19, Métier Brewing Company in Woodenville, Washington. MBC's mission is born of co-founders Todd and Rodney's shared passion for great beer and a spirited community in Woodenville. As beer enthusiasts, the two are influenced by tradition, but not bound by it. They experiment with brews that are innovative and accessible. With their commitment to craft, MBC brews with intention and integrity, and they never compromise. From their award-winning coconut porter to their trailblazer pale ale, there is an NBC beer for everyone, over 21 of course. Number 20, 1865 Brewing Company in Hampton, Virginia. 1865 Brewing Company is a community-driven meeting hub equipped with a full-service coffee shop, fully functional brewery, nutritional juice bar, and non-alcoholic cocktail station with tasty food and snack options. It is historic in its own right as Hampton Road's first ever Black-owned brewery. The eclectic brew pub's vibe is urban active with a wide variety of craft beers. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.